Hi friends, in this video, let us solve a signal system related question on screen gate 1990 EC paper. Right, so the question is what they are asking here is the magnitude and the phase function for a distortionless filter should be respectively. So, what they are talking, they are asking about magnitude and phase of distortionless filter. See, we know the channel is acting as a filter. So, when you transmit X of T, when it is received by the receiver, we should get the same thing after some delay, right? Whatever we transmit, you take some time, it may be nanosecond or picosecond, but after some time only it will be received. If it is distortionless, means what whatever we have transmitted that should reach. So x of t I transmitted x of t minus t that is received. So in between, what I have is channel. right so this is input this is output so i have to find uh, what is the nature of this so magnitude and phase so i have to go for magnitude response right so h of omega i find so you take what is the fourier transform of y of t okay h of omega is nothing but we know okay sorry so i need to find the channel response but what is the magnitude and the phase response h of omega is equal to Fourier transform of output divided by Fourier transform of input. Right? So that is the thing we have to know. So what is my y of t? My y of t as per the problem y of t is equal to x of t minus t. Take Fourier transform. What happens? Y of omega is equal to x of omega. It is time shifted, so e power minus j omega. I used time shifting property of Fourier transform. Time shifting property of Fourier transform. So what will happen? Y of omega by x of omega that is equal to h of omega, right? So it is e power minus j omega. So you can see after some time the magnitude is changed compared to this. We can add k also. That is not issue. So if you take k, it is k. So this k is maybe greater number or less number because of distortion you know, it occurs. Like you like that you can take. Now you take you take what is the magnitude? Magnitude is h of omega. H of omega is k because mod e power j omega is one. What about phase? Phase of h of omega is minus omega, right? So why we know? Phase is con this is magnitude, it is not contributing to the phase. What is the phase of e power minus j omega? It is minus omega, right? Because cos omega e power j minus j omega is cos omega minus j sin omega. Phase is tan inverse of b by a, b is sin omega by cos omega. So tan inverse of tan omega is minus omega. So from this, what I understand the channel response should be the magnitude response should be what? It should be constant and the phase must be linear, right? So it must be linear that k had. So it is varying with respect to k, it is omega, it is a function of omega. So it is linear phase. When omega varies, phase varies linearly. So for distortionless system, magnitude must be constant, phase must be linear. So magnitude is constant phase is linear. Option 3 is the right answer. Thank you.